Caddis Maximus here. Found like they, these sets of pliers at a Habitat for Humanity, so I decided to pick them up. These are fiercely made in the USA, so... And I went and looked, and actually, it appears, you know, a lot of Channel Ox core pliers and those type of products are still made in the United States. They do claim an ISO 9001, which is like a certain, uh, you know, they call it traceability. It's just where people write down saying, you know, I checked the pliers and they looked good uh, type of quality control, but it is better quality control. They certainly have uh, a lot of advertising on the back, although it's in super tiny print, surprisingly enough. One thing I didn't know about this, these general slip joint pliers is they're actually just high carbon steel. They're not like chrome vanadium. Still pretty good, but it's still surprising that you do use a permanent rivet, so it, these do hold up. A lot of people just hit, well, that rivet's actually pretty tight, but it'll break in. These are like the general purpose style of pliers, and so I only paid five bucks, so might as well have them. They do laser etch it, but that will disappear pretty darn quickly. They do lack or coat these tools. But I was looking up online, I wasn't going to do a video, but people had said, you know, they, they kind of the, the conclusion I'm sure I'm going to reach here is that it's cool that they're still made in the United States, they're still pretty darn nice tools, but that the quality, you know, they've sacrificed a bit on quality control. And actually, to tell you the truth, these look pretty good, the rivet's pretty tight. Uh, we can see there that the jaws, they're not quite even, but they're still not bad, even for pliers that like cost 10 bucks. These are the quintessential utility drawer pliers just because they can perform a pretty wide range of operations with a single simple set of pliers. So it is nice to have some forged steel ones that are pretty heavy duty. I was already looking at these needle nose in the package. Surprisingly enough, they didn't have that laser etching very well centered. You can actually see the jaws aren't, it's not perfect, but they're still pretty good. What I mean is the little notch here, you can see those aren't uh, quite lined up perfectly. But overall, not too bad. As far as how good the cutters are, you're not seeing any light or anything like that through them. And they still do the cross hatch, which is pretty aggressive. Although, as you use needle nose, you know that quickly wears out. And as we can see from my hands, we got a little bit of oil. So they do oil these from the factory, which is pretty cool. So some people, I can see that overall, they're accepting a wider range of product going out the door that, you know, generally is okay. Probably leading to some of the complaints that, you know, it's still made in the United States, but uh, they weren't, <laughs> the quality control went through the tubes. And this couple random sets, maybe they're slightly older sets, but um really don't seem that bad at all they seem exactly as you know what you might accept for expect from channel lock and it's kind of cool to know that they still are at least making some of their basic pliers like this uh in, in the united states and the best i can say for about that is maybe that being fiercely made that ferocity uh is causing them to not send out some great sets of pliers but really with you know packaging and stuff you're <laughs> If you're ordering online, then you don't have a choice. And a lot of times, and people even commented on my videos on bad tools, where it was, it really was just a poorly manufactured set. They send it back to Amazon. That <laughs> seller just resells it to the next person. They <laughs> then they get upset about a bad, the same bad set of pliers. So I kind of thought this would be cool just to do kind of a random test on how good the pliers are still. And they're not bad. You know, they grind the tips on these needle nose after they're riveted. So they always should fit nice and smoothly, at least when they're new. Anyway, not a lot else to say about it. I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.